So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to discuss some more PES 2016 action. This time we're going to be talking about all the details that have been announced so far. Obviously E3 just around the corner, so more things to be shown. But today's going to be everything that has been announced up until now. Now I have done a trailer breakdown of the full reveal trailer that came out on June 12th. Check that out in the description. But today it's all about what we actually know. So the first thing is an advanced collision system. What we mean by that is that it will calculate how players interact. This will result in unique outcomes based on how two players collide. So very much sort of like FIFA's impact engine, which to be fair is a little bit all over the place now and then. They still haven't quite got that right. But basically how players collide will result in what happens. So that could result in unlimited sort of collisions whether that's going to be the actual case will be you know a determining factor we'll have to play the game to see how many ways players will collide but it will definitely be an improvement to what we have seen next is greater control in the air you have the ability now to use the left analog stick to battle the opposition or disrupt a larger more powerful player uh, or find the best position to make the header and volley. So, you know, you see Ibrahimovic, he's going for the header. You've got a smaller player like someone like Rafael. You can now jostle with Ibrahimovic just to try and put him off at least. So that will give us a little bit more freedom now with the uh, aerial control. Next up, enhancements to one versus one player control with response times improved to help players fake out their opponents when charging towards the net. So we're just going to have more freedom, pretty much, when it comes to one-on-ones. It will be interesting to see how the trick stick is sort of analysed. I thought in PES 2015 it was far too easy to do tricks past the AI. They just sort of... the I don't know, the tricks for me, they are so, like, scripted. They're almost like they're uninterruptible, if that's even a word. You can't interrupt a skill. Pretty much as soon as that skill has been implemented, that's it. It's going to happen. So that will something that we'll have to see what does happen uh, with the one-on-one. -on -one. Next up, improvements to defense. Uh, perform a tackle at the perfect time and you'll get the ball for a chance for a quick counter-attack. That's interesting. I'm not sure if that's going to be sort of like uh, if you ever played Street Fighter and you counter a move, you sort of get an advantage and an upper hand. Maybe that's sort of a little thing they've added this year. So that's what they're saying. They're saying that if you do perform a perfect tackle at the perfect time, you will get sort of a, a quick counter ability. Next up, we have Smarter Player AI. That means you no longer need to manually trigger a 1-2. I like the look of that. I like the thought of that because very much now when I play FIFA, when I play PES, all I do is pretty much hold L1 and X and play 1-2s because I want my players to make runs up the pitch. They don't do that dynamically. It's not something that just happens on its own. So that, to me, is massive because if they now will do that on their own, that means we're going to have more chances to break and do quick counters. Next up, advancements to goalkeeping mechanics to allow for more variety in catching, clearing, and deflecting shots. So they're basically just improving the goalkeepers further. They were better in PES 2015. I think they were a little bit too good when it came to outside-of-the-box shots. So I do hope they sort of make them a little bit more human-like. But they also were not that, that great when it came to one-on-ones. They were very easy to beat. So hopefully they found sort of a middle ground there. But it's definitely good to see that they probably will have more stats for goalies this time around. Next, we have new goal celebration controls. I think we've all seen that in the trailer. Uh, and you'll see it in this video as well on the top right-hand corner that you have the ability now to make your own custom celebrations. That's obviously been ripped from FIFA. I'm not really that fussed about it, to be fair. Uh, I'd rather there just be sort of realistic goal celebrations. But it's a nice added touch. Next, we have better visuals across the board. I think that's a no-brainer. Obviously, every game that comes out really graphically has to be improved. Pez hasn't really been one of those games that sort of shone in the graphics department. It has looked better, definitely this year on the PS4. But I'm hoping for quite a big leap this year uh, when it does come for Pez 2016. Next is a quite a big one for me personally, is Dynamic Weather. And that will mean that players will slip and fall in rainy conditions. Now, the big determining factor of this is whether dynamic weather is just aesthetic or whether it will actually play an important part. What I mean by that is if it's just visual and nothing really happens, then it's, it's not that great. But if it does mean that, say you start a match off and it's sunny, 
your Arsenal playing against Stoke City. It's sunny. Arsenal are obviously pinging the ball around. Starts raining a little bit. Arsenal are loving it because it's slick conditions. They can play that one-two quick counter-attacking football. But it starts raining more and more. And then towards the second half, you say, suddenly Stoke City are now are having a better time with the ball because... It started to be a real slow-paced game. Arsenal are having a hard time now of playing that quick counter-attacking football. And the game's been slowed right down. So I'm hoping that's what they mean when they say dynamic weather. And it will affect the gameplay. If it does, it's massive. Because obviously FIFA haven't announced anything like that. And it's something that they've, they've stuck out brand new. And I'm quite shocked that they've actually added it. So hopefully E3 will give us a little bit more about that one. Next up is a new wide camera angle. We'll have to see what that's all about. I definitely think the camera angles are okay. They could be improved a little bit more to be a little bit more broadcasty. But a new camera angle is always nice. There's going to be three times more animations. That was needed. I don't know if three times more is going to be enough. Because Pez doesn't have a whole lot of animations. But anyway, more is always better. Uh, there's going to be new ball physics. So we haven't seen too much of this. Judging from that other trailer, the physics weren't particularly enhanced. So once again, we're going to have to wait till we get some actual, actual gameplay from E3 to see if they have improved those ball physics. There's going to be improvements to Master League, my club. We've seen that. Master League looks a little bit better. But once again, we're going to have to wait till we get our hands on it to see the full improvements as well as my club. Uh, there's going to be a new commentary team. Which is obviously a given. I think we need a new commentary team. I personally haven't listened to commentary on Pez for about three years. So I'm not really too worried about it. Jim Beglin did come out on Twitter apparently saying that he is in Pez 2016. But he has got a new partner. So we'll have to see who that is. Konami have also snapped up the three-year deal for the Champions League. Which is quite good I think. Because a lot of us there was a bit of speculation as to whether... Uh, FIFA were going to take it away from them and Konami wouldn't have that and if they lost the Champions League it would be massively massively disappointing but I still want to see more from Konami when it comes to the Champions League I want to see a live draw I want to see better cutscenes some CGI I don't know use the license exploit it add some more uh, longevity should we say to the game and then finally we have the release date which is coming out on the 15th of September in North America, the 17th of September in European countries and the 18th of September in the UK and worldwide. That does mean it's coming out a whole week before FIFA does. Is that a smart decision though? Well let me know in the comments below. I think it is probably the right decision. Some people are probably going to have to decide now whether they want to pick up Pez or FIFA. But uh, it was a bit of a shock on the cards because obviously when it does release, it's only going to be 10 months before Pez 2015 did hit the store. So there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And it wasn't that quick, but I wanted to give you guys all the details that I've seen uh, and all in one video for you guys to check out. If you enjoyed it, please share it, like it, favorite it. Let me know what you guys think. But until next time, take care.